with me. This, in this video, I'm going to be planning my bullet journal spreads for the month of May. I am starting off by drawing in a tent for my title page. As you can see, the theme for this month is circus. So right next to the cover page, I have a doodle page. So I love doodling in my journal. As you can see, all of the stuff have been penciled in first. I like doing that just so I know what the composition I want of the spreads and how I want them to look before I go in and ink. To ink all of these illustrations, I am using a Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen. This one is in the hard tip. I like using this just because it I can vary the line weight. I can go from very thin lines to a very thick line and this gives in a very interesting look to all my drawings. So in this page, uh, I'm just doodling all the things related to a circus. So we started off with a little cloud, some balloons, um, there's a ferris wheel that I love in there, um, there's an ice cream stall, some hearts, sparks, stars, banners, tickets, all the stuff related to a circus. So now I'm just moving on to coloring in the doodle page first. The colors I've chosen are red and blue with a hint of blush. So the marker I'm using for red and blue are the Tombow brush pens. The red color is in the shade 847. The blue is in the shade N115. And the blush color that I'm using is a brush marker from Miniso. It doesn't really have a shade number on it or a shade name, but it's the palest pink they offer. So as you can see, I'm just going in and coloring in all things in the doodle page. You also see me come in with a gold gel pen. This pen is from Walmart. It came in a pack of 16 and I don't know what company it is. I just know it, it looks great. I thought um, in some places it was a bit lacking. So I decided that it would be cool to have a little pop of gold. Here I'm just coloring in the ferris wheel, deciding what parts of it I want blue, going in with the pink because I thought the blue and the red were just a bit overpowering each other and I needed another color to break it up so that's where I started to go in with the pale pink um, and filling in a bunch of colors and I'm fin finishing it up with coloring all the stuff that I, I have left for let's say it needs to be pink and I had a blue marker in my hand now I'm just going in with my gold gel pen, adding in a couple details here and there. So I just added a couple of hearts to the ferris wheel, um, wrote ice cream on the ice cream stall, added the gold details here and there. Now I'm just going in with a red and blue gel pen, adding in some little detail in the doodles, filling up the empty spaces, making sure everything looks great. Um, now it's time to work on our main page. So I'm just starting by coloring in the tent with the blush color. I wanted to make sure that the red and the blue don't really touch each other because they are touching in the ice cream stall and I don't really like that look. I think it's a bit too much on the eyes. So I went in with the pale pink first, kind of block out the areas that I wanted to be separated. And then I'm going in with the blue, deciding where I want the blue color, making sure like blues and blues don't touch and the next time just going in with the red and filling up whatever is left of the space for the flag at the top of the tent I'm just going in with some gold paint and then adding some gold details all around the tent after that, I'm just going to add some letter stickers spelling out the month May. These letter stickers are from this uh, scrapbooking pad I got from Walmart a long, long time ago. And I, if I happen to find it, I'll link it down below. And with that, the monthly cover page and the doodle page are done. 
Now I'm just starting off with the monthly page. With this, I again wanted to continue on with the same color scheme of blue, red, and blush. So I'm starting off by just outlining all the squares in the month that need to be blue. And then on the right side of the page, I had some empty space, so I decided to add these stars, and I'm gonna color them in with the three color schemes that we have. So I'm just coloring those in. On the left side of the page, I have this banner to continue on with the circus theme. So I'm just coloring that in with blue and then going in with the red. And then after that, with the red marker, I'm again just going to go in and outline all the squares that need to be red. And once again, coloring in all the sparks on the very right. Once I've colored everything in with the red marker, I'm going in with the blush. Um, since the blush is very, very light, I was afraid that I won't be able to erase the pencil marks after I've put it on. Um, but I did a little test and it worked out fine. Like you could erase the pencil marks from underneath it, which was amazing. So here I'm just erasing all the pencil marks, making sure it's all neat and tidy. Once again, I'm using those letter stickers and spelling out the word May making sure everything looks good. Next, I'm just gonna come in with my Fudonosuke marker and write the days of the week. And lastly, I'm putting in date stickers. These, these date stickers are available in my shop and to buy them, you're, there'll be a link in the description down below. So if you want them, check them out. You see me pull out a um, compass to kind of help me put them on because I couldn't find my tweezers. But in the end, I decided my fingers work way better than that. So I'll just use those. And I'm just putting these date stickers at the very corner of the square to signify what date it is for the monthly calendar. Once those are in, we're done with the monthly calendar spread and moving on, right behind it, my markers did bleed a little and ghost. So to cover it up, I am making an inspo board, kind of like all these things collected into one page that kind of inspired this month's theme. So I just started off by cutting up these two paint chips that were the exact color as my markers. Then I'm just going in with some washi tape at the bottom in the same color scheme. Next, I'm just cutting up the stickers. Um, the banner sticker you see at the top is from my Kiki's Delivery Service Kit, and you can you can find links to all of these stickers in the description below. The little red um, sticker paint tube in the very right corner is again from one of my sticker sheets. And I'm going in with the same letter stickers I got from Walmart, spelling out Inspo Board. Next, I'm going in with the planet stickers and putting down little planets in the color scheme. And lastly, I have a sticker from Procrastinator Co. I'll link her down below as well. And I have her vintage ticket stickers. These also work so well, so I added that as well. Next, I'm just starting on my very first weekly spread. So this weekly spread, I'm sh I wanted to make a red border. I made one and I didn't like it, so then I went through all the way through the page. So I'm just coloring in the border and on the very top, again, I have a banner continuing on with the circus theme. I'm filling it in with the red and the pink. For this one, I just didn't want the blue. I wanted it to be a very red, pinky, warm toned page. I'm outlining everything again with my Tombow Furunosuke pen, writing down the days of the week. Then I decided to add some details with my gold gel pen, but then it didn't really show up and wasn't really working that well. So then I went in with my little gold paint. I was trying to make circles, but I couldn't really do it with the brush I had. So I just said, screw it, I'm just gonna give um, the entire border a gold touch. And I think it turned out really, really good at the very end. Right behind it, I decided to do a quote page. The quote I am doing for this month is, Life is a circus, enjoy the show. 
especially with the COVID-19 stuff that's been going around and everyone being quarantined and facing situations they've never faced before. I thought this was a fitting quote. Um, just kind of let everything happen and let life do its thing. For the quote page, I wrote the quote in the center and then drew a circle around it. And then right outside the circle, I did a starburst effect. So I'm filling up the starburst with reds, blues, and pinks. And once it's complete, I think it's going to look really, really cute. With the font, with the circus, I decided to do like an old-timey font. I outlined that with red. And I'm just finishing this up with outlining the circle with a black pen. Here I'm working on my habit tracker, so I'm just outlining the title. The font I used again is the same one that I used for the circus in the quote page and I used a red and blue gel pen to outline the headings. I was going to use my Tombows but I was scared it was going to bleed through to the other side and screw up the spread I had planned in the next page. For the habit trackers, I'm tracking four habits and I'm drawing them like they were they would be like a ticket inside a circus so they're just like a ticket and they just have the habit i'm trying to track written on them with 31 circles um right next to it signifying all the 31 days in may and once i do a habit i can just color the bubble in to signify yay i did it Moving on to the next couple of pages, I'm doing another weekly spread here. This one is my least favorite out of all of the weeklies I've done. I don't know, I had some really great ideas, they just didn't translate well. I might try this one again. So um, I'm just drawing these stand things in red and blue. And after I've colored them in, I'm just going to go in with a black pen and just kind of draw the circle around it. I really don't know what where I was going with this spread. I know I want to do something with circles and this is the idea that I came out with. Um, I'm definitely going to give it another try and make it look a bit better. Right next to it, I'm getting started on a brain dump page. Last month, I used some random pages as a brain dump because I had so many ideas and nowhere to put them. So this month, I was like, hey, I'm going to like make a new brain dump page specifically. So I have a designated spot and I wanted it to be really pale and not be focused more on the ideas I'm going to put inside. So I just did a little border with the same starburst effect and had did a little gold thing at the bottom and wrote brain dump. Next, I'm working on my mood board or mood tracker. For this one, I'm drawing another tent, but this time I'm not going to color it in. Uh, I sectioned off the tent into 31 different sections and then um, numbered them and then have my little legend at the bottom signifying different colors to different moods. And as the month progresses, I'm going to fill them in. Lastly, the last page I'm working on is the last weekly spread. So this spread was very heavily inspired by the Procrastinator Co's vintage sticker sheet. So um, I wanted to do like a little um, accent on the very right side. So I just cut up her stickers and kind of put them in the same layout as they were on the sticker sheet because I love that. And for the days of the week, I'm just going in with my two markers and writing them down. So that concludes the entire plan with me. This is how it turned out. So the cover is right here in front of you. Um, next, I'm just gonna flip through to the monthly calendar. This is the this is my favorite spread out of all the spreads I've done this month. It's so clean and so cute. Um, next, after that, we have the inspo board and the first weekly. I love the border on that weekly. It's so nice and shiny. Next is the quotes page and the habit tracker. So hopefully this month I can keep up with all the habits that I have. Um, next we have another weekly and a brain dump page. Can't wait to use the brain dump page. Um, and lastly we have the mood tracker and the weekly. I hope you like that. If you like that please 
leave a comment, leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.